This will be a brief overview of Zotero, a free citation management system that can be useful for large research projects. In any browser, type in Zotero. You'll notice that it does give you an option to register and create a free account. You don't need to register in order to use Zotero, but it can be helpful if you want to track your library across platforms. Start by going to Zotero, your personal research assistant, then click download. You'll notice two options, one for the app and one for the connector. You need to install both of these options in order to access the full functionality of Zotero. There is also an app for Mac. In this case, we'll start by installing Zotero for Windows. Simply follow the directions of the installation wizard. Standard is fine. Once Zotero has installed, it will normally open up automatically. We're now going to install the Chrome connector. The Chrome connector will appear in the upper right hand corner and in any browser it's a good idea once the connector has been installed to pin it so that you can always easily access it as you do your research. Now that both the connector and the app have been installed, let's take a moment and examine the library itself. On the left hand side you'll see a folder with a plus sign. This is how you add a new collection to your library. Each collection represents a research project. I have two collections currently, one for communications and one simply la labeled research. Items in your collection will appear in the middle pane, whether it be a PDF, a website, or some other type of document. You can add to your library in a number of different ways. Click on the page with the plus sign and you'll see a list of different types of items that you can add. You can also use the wand and you would use this if you were trying to add a book from the library catalog as the connector does not work with the catalog. Simply enter the book's ISBN and it will be added to your library. You would also do this for research articles from ScienceDirect. This particular database also does not work with the connector. Once you've added items to your library, you can click on a title and the metadata will appear on the right hand side. Now let's see how the connector works in action. For the connector to work, you always need to have Zotero running in the bottom taskbar. We will go to the library website and we'll do a search in Discover the database that searches most of Landmark's databases at the same time, and we'll do a search for fubbing. There are a number of results, and I will click on this PDF. And then I'll click on the Z. and then click on the square and you'll see it saying saving to my library. Now if you go into Zotero you'll see that it's been added but unfortunately it's a duplicate so to get rid of duplicates you simply right click and then you can move the item to trash. Once you have a number of items that you want for a bibliography, simply press the control button and keep it pressed and highlight all the items you want in your bibliography. Right click and then create bibliography. Choose the appropriate citation style, in this case American Psychological Association. Choose save as RTF and click OK. 
Then the file name, leave it untitled bibliography for now, and save as type RTF. This will ensure that it goes to a Word document. So now I'll go look and I will have the Word document on my desktop. And you can see that it's organized alphabetically. Do check it for small errors because it's an automated citation. Zotero also allows you to do in-text citations. And in an in-text citation, such as this one, put your cursor at the end, then click on Zotero, add edit citation, the type of citation style, click OK, and then type in your item. And now you have the in-text citation. If you have any questions about how to use Zotero, please contact the library front desk.